Let's go through this together. The constant, the thing that doesn't change, in other words, the thing that's got no variable with it, is here. Oh, I need a pen. Is here. And it is negative 4. Don't forget, you always need to actually put the sign with it if it's, an, if it's um, a negative, right? Then the coefficient of x, that's the number that x is multiplied by. So let's have a look here. 5x, so the number x is multiplied by is 5. Have a look here. What's the coefficient of y? What number is y multiplied by? Remember, if we don't have a number there, there basically is a 1 there. We don't write that in. And remember, if you've got that minus sign right, you need to include that. It's negative 1, the coefficient of y. Coefficient of z is nice and easy. That's 2. And the number of terms, well, separate terms are separated by minuses and pluses. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Nice and easy. Now we've seen something like this where we've got 4x plus 2x. Now hopefully you can see quite easily. What you've got is you've got 4 of the x's and you add another 2 x's. So what you should be able to see quite easily is that that will be equal to 6 x's. And if we just take a few numeric examples, we'll see why, right? If you take x equal to 10, right, for expressions to be equivalent, they must give you the same answer no matter what number you put in. So let's try a few numbers. For x equal to 10, what you'll get is you'll get 4 tens plus 2 tens. So if you've got 4 tens plus 2 tens, You've got four of the tens and you've got another two of the tens. Obviously, you're going to end up with six tens, right, which is 60. And if we put in x is equal to 30, you're going to have exactly the same story. You've got four thirties, right, for four x, and two thirties, which is two x. And if you think about it, you've got four thirties and you've got two thirties. How many thirties do you have in total? You've got six thirties in total, right? And that's 180. So you can see these are equivalent expressions. You can combine the 4x and the 2x to make 6x. And that is because 4x and 2x are like terms. They've got exactly the same variable. Let's have a look at something slightly different. What about 4x and 2x squared? Can we do... Oh, let me write that squared nicely. 2x squared. Can we do something clever to combine these two? Could we say that this is equal to 6x, or perhaps even 6x squared, or perhaps even 6x cubed, right? Well, let's have a look at what's going on here by having a look at some numbers. If we take x equal to 10, for example, what we'd have here is we've got four lots of 10. But when we get to the x squared, we will have 10 squared, which is 100. And we can't combine these because we've got four tens, but we've got two hundreds. So we can't say, well, we've got six tens because we haven't. This is 100. That's 10, right? So the, this and this are different things. So we can't just neatly say, well, we've got six tens or we've got six hundreds or whatever. It's two totally different things. And the answer here we'll get is 240, which isn't either 6 tens or 6 hundreds or even worse, 6 thousands. And so you can see, if we try it, say, with the x equal to 30, what you'd end up with here is 4 thirties and plus 2 lots of 30 squared, which is 30 squared, sorry, is 900. And can you combine those two things? Well, the answer to that is, well, no, because... Here you've got four thirties, and here you've got two nine hundreds. You can't then say you've got six thirties or six nine hundreds or anything of that. You actually have to treat this and this as different things. So none of these things here are right. When you've got four x and two x squared, you can't combine them because the x and the x squared are not like because there's a different exponent. Okay, let's do one quick example. Um, to see if we know. First of all, write this down in your homework books and see if you can identify the like terms. Pause your video now and uh, try that and we'll go over it together. Okay, before I try and simplify something, I first try and identify the like terms. Now remember with like terms, they've got to be exactly the same. Same variable, same exponent. So let's start with the 3x. Where are its little friends, its like terms? Well, obviously, I'm looking for something that's just got an x, not an x squared, not an x cubed, not anything else, just a plain x. So there's another one. And if I scan through the rest, that's it. So those two are like terms. Let's then look at this one, the 5x squared. Where are its friends? Well, again, I've got it's got to have exactly the same. So x squared, not x cubed, not x to the 4, not x. It's got to be an x squared. Well, where is got it? Where's its friends? There. And I think that that's it. They're no more. OK. Let's have a look at the next one along, which is 3xy. Now, here's one where it's slightly tricky. Just remember that if you've got xy, it's exactly the same as yx, right? Those two things are exactly the same. It doesn't matter which order in which you multiply. So xy and yx are exactly the same. So this and this are like terms. All right, next one along, this 9x cubed. I'm looking for anything that's got an x cubed in it. 
There's nothing else that's got an x cubed in it, so that one doesn't have any friends. Um, and then let's have a look at the plain old numbers. Well, a like term for a plain old number will be another plain old number, so I've got those two are like terms. So when I'm simplifying now, I can combine like terms. So let's have a look here. 3x plus 4x, that gives me 7x. Then I have to combine these ones here. 5x squared minus x squared, that's going to give me 4x squared. Okay, I've already dealt with that one. Let's have a look here. I've got negative 3xy plus 5xy. So negative 3 plus 5, that's going to give me 2. So it's plus 2xy. This 9x cubed didn't have a friend, so it just stays. Uh, I've already dealt with the x squareds, and here I've got a plus 2 minus 4, and so plus 2 minus 4 is going to give me negative 2, and I've already dealt with the yx, so I've dealt with everything. Here is my simplified expression. So this whole big long equation, um, expression is equivalent to this expression here, and I've done it by combining like terms, which are terms that have exactly the same variable, same letter, same exponent.